Real Money contributor, our energy expert, Dan Dicker, is here as we watch oil prices again go to these levels, Dan. It's really been amazing what's been happening in the energy space in just the very short time of a week. Right. And, and I'll tell you, it's been surprising as well, um, the, um, the outcome of the uh, OPEC meeting in Vienna very much expected by anybody you know who's looking even halfway at the at the oil markets and and uh, you know an, an unlimited kind of production quota has been basically in place for the last year anyway none of this should be a surprise I don't know why there's all this jawboning about you know them lifting the the lid on production quotas and and opening the spigots this has been the strategy from the Saudis all along this has been the strategy to try and um, let the market decide, flood, flood the glut the marketplace, let the market decide what the price is, uh, fight for market share, and ultimately destroy, not maim, but kill um, U.S. Uh, E&Ps, uh, Canadian oil sands players, Brazilian offshore players, Mexican offshore players, our own Gulf of Mexico players. There is a plan to destroy these non-OPEC players, and it's working because OPEC wants to have that hold on oil and doesn't want what would be considered upstarts like the U.S., even though the U.S. has been doing this for a while, to get in on the game. So that's where we are now. Right. Now what you do is you're holding on to these energy stocks. You know, you're thinking about what happens beyond this low price environment, or do prices go down to $20, as has been chatted about now? No, and I, I've, I've written a number of pieces on real money on why I don't think that oil gets down anywhere near that, that two-handle that, that Goldman Sachs has famously called for. Um, but what's important is that it doesn't have to go down there for this to be a very destructive period for oil e and um, both majors and the independents here in the United States and elsewhere. So even at these prices, at 38, 39, 40, anything under $50, um, all of these players um, are going broke slowly, but they are going broke. The question now is, you know, where is there going? To, where are you going to find value in the space of, of energy stocks? Now, I've always, you know, touted a couple of the what I call the survivors mm -hmm. in the space. Um, what's been clear over the last week since the OPEC announcement is that we're going to see a longer, for a lower for longer period of oil prices. And therefore, we're probably going to see a lower for longer period for even the survivors of energy players. So if you are investing in these, which I am, you must do it with a very long-term horizon. So you are looking at the spider, the energy spider, as just one kind of way to be in oil and maybe be a little bit diversified if you're in that space. Well, the reason that I take the XLE is because it gives a great idea of how sort of um, um, uh, how after the fact the reaction to oil companies has been. And I think that is what I'm telling you, Rhonda, is that the, the energy markets are figuring out and the oil stocks are figuring out that the Saudis are out to kill. They're not out to maim. They're out to kill, and therefore uh, a lot of these energy companies inside the XLE are not going to survive this low energy price for the next eight months to a year. They're just not. And that's what's the reaction has been inside the ETF and inside oil stocks in general. We're glad you're tracking it for us. Dan Dicker, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Street.